one means to uh, last last meeting and now we go to day two day two in the the discussions of uh, questionnaire yeah so as i told you uh, in in the first meeting as as you watch in in your uh, i mean in in youtube you you watch last meeting or the, in the first meeting um questionnaire can be um, obtained by three different ways uh, adopting adopting it from other researchers and adapt, adapting adapting other researchers questionnaire and making it by ourselves so uh, this is the repetitions of the first materials what 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 is meant by adopting is uh, that you clearly or you 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 take uh, all the part all parts of the questionnaire from other researchers questionnaire from other questionnaires so you 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 take you take for granted you, you take all the parts but that thing is uh, you you take some and you put some additional uh, items in the questionnaire so you you adapt it means you 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 what is it you you make uh, modifications of the questionnaire but you still use some uh, parts of the the other last i mean the the, the other the other questionnaire and then uh you put by your own some additional items in the questionnaire and uh, the last is uh, the making make or uh, author or researcher made materials or researcher made questionnaire it, it means that this is uh, the questionnaire that the researcher uh, really make make it by uh, by themselves um this is the example of uh, what is it adopted questionnaire so for example if you put this questionnaire usually you you read the articles in 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 the journals and then in in the the end of the in the what is it the final parts of the journal usually but it is not always usually it is called appendix or appendices you you see the questionnaire of the day and then you take uh, the questionnaire uh, can be the questionnaire can be uh, uh, can appear in the form of uh, the the what is it the only the statements or the questions without any uh, options or sometimes the questionnaire can appear completely it means that uh, there are some uh, question and 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 options uh, like for example i like dislike or yes or no or uh, <coughs> agree disagree and so on but as, I, as as you see in 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 the slide it is the questionnaire of a research or a research article uh, as you can see there that uh, the questionnaire is uh, complete uh, by giving the uh, question in the first part this is the questions and then the ABCD is the options, the answer options, uh, the options of answer when when the when uh, the respondents want to choose something like this. This is uh, adopted. It means if, if you you want to adopt the questionnaire, uh, you just take all the all parts of the, these questionnaires and then you use it in your research later on but uh, you you have to uh, put the sources i mean the source of this questionnaire it means that uh, um, the write down the writer and the, the here yeah and this is another uh, question um, and that what is it the another uh, uh what is it uh, explanation this is the explanations of uh, adopting questionnaire when you adopt the questionnaire in in the in the uh, in in your in your chapter three, you have to uh, what is it to put uh, explanation like this. The research adopted the modified versions of uh, by this one. This is the researcher or the writers. I mean the what is it the the research article writers. Uh, just put often like this and then. Uh, you have you have to what is it uh, you have to explain further about the contents of the questionnaire 
for example this one it is a five point like a skill instrument range from uh, strongly disagree to strongly agree and so on until you have uh, this one and then you also uh, have to what is it to explain the questionnaire the, the components of the questionnaire so that the aspects that uh, the questionnaire take for example the, the this is one the questionnaire involves two components including communication apprehension and fear of negative evaluation and so on so it's it's kinds of uh, what is it uh, explanations or narrative explanation in in your chapter three, if you adopt uh, the questionnaires from others. Um, what about adapting? Adapting is like this. So, uh, for example, this is the, what is it, the explanations in chapter three. Uh, WTC uh, in English questionnaire was developed by this one. So when you develop your question, your question, your questionnaires, you use a bank and withdraw question questionnaire, for example. So it, it means that uh, you develop this questionnaire by uh, adding some points. So you firstly have to what is it to to explain the items and then how many items are there in the questionnaires and then what kinds of uh, types of questionnaire. Is, uh, is is that questionnaire? And then uh, you you also uh, have to, to explain the components of the questionnaire aspects uh, measured in the questionnaire and so on. Um, this is the last. This is the so-called um, research made questionnaire. Things that we uh, we further want to uh, discuss today. So making the questionnaire or make a researcher made questionnaire, the questionnaire that you make uh, by yourself later on, if you you want to make the questionnaire, at least uh, you can choose either uh, adapting, adopting, or making the questionnaires. So um, first of all, you have to make sure that you have a construct, because the construct of the questionnaire. So make a construct of the expected concept by synthesizing, sorry, synthesizing it from uh, expert definition of the concept. So first of all, you have to uh, to see the concept that you have to, to you you want to measure in a questionnaire. After you know the concept, then you read some uh, some books on that concepts. Um, try to synthesize. I mean, uh, write it down rewrite the concept of uh, from from others so you make your own definitions of the concept and the concept could uh, from the concept could appear a kinds of uh, construct the construct of the questionnaire what what is meant by construct and concept the concept is the things that you have to measure in a questionnaire and the construct is also the things but it is more operational i think so um, what is the questionnaire cons construct? Uh, how the concept is defined? Sometimes uh, you have to define the concept by uh, yourself. I mean, uh, you, you have, it is, it is, not, it is a must to, to define the concept by your own words, but the concept uh, should, should come from, from others. So you cannot, you cannot uh, what is it, uh, write, write the concept by your, by your own from the beginning, you have to read some people, some in some books, some definitions in some books. Uh, that's the concept. So define the concept first, and then finally you have the if 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 you read some concept, you will get two different different cons construct, the cons conceptual definition and uh, operational definition. The conceptual definition means the definition that uh, you you make from other definitions uh, by saying or defining the things defining mean uh, what is it called like uh, it's conceptualize or making definitions uh, something still abstract over there but when you go to the construct it means that you what is it you 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 make operational definition what is meant by making operational definitions it means that you have to show the def, the, the indicators of the concept. The, so that's why the concept is by definition the abstract, and by operational definitions the the concrete one. The concrete one, ones means um, 
the uh, what is it the uh, operational definitions and the operational definition means uh, indicators uh, let me give you the example of making indicators like this so um, for example if you want to make indicators of the critical thinking skills critical thinking skills uh, is uh, the variable critical thinking skill okay the variable and you have to make the, the definition of critical thinking by reading some books of critical thinkings while while you found while you found the critical thinking skill okay the definition it is conceptual definition because it is still the, the abstract thing for example the critical thinking skill is blah 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 ability to blah 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 and so on so uh, you make a kind of uh, what is it uh, synthesis synthesis of uh, of of the uh, definition from others so it means that you create your own words by your own words uh, cons construct or construct or concepts of the variables and fine after that you 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 may see uh, also from from other other books to see indicators indicators is uh, for example the indicators of critical thinking skill is the attitude knowledge and skills for example and after you have indicators then you make a question for each for each indicators for the attitude and then what kind of question are you going to take uh, from uh, from attitude what kinds of indicators are i going to take from 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 knowledge and from skills and so on after you have question then you get the the the, the whole questionnaire uh, this is another indicators um, in uh, another variable the use of reading strategies for example this this, this uh, that that uh, i mean that variable needs definition what, what is meant by use of reading strategies uh, it means that uh, the use of reading strategy mean blah 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 and so on that's the conceptual uh, conceptual definitions and after that you read uh, other books so you, you also read the same book and then try to find the indicators if you don't you, you cannot find the indicators you can make it by yourself uh, from from the definitions so the, for example the indicators is uh, or are cognitive strategy mega meta cognitive strategy social or affective strategy and and you find three sometimes you find more def, more, more indicators but uh, it is up to your context uh, to choose either one or two or uh, several several indicators so uh, try to what is it to make sure that uh, your context needs such kinds of indicators and then finally you have a question from each indicator take some some question or statements from each indicator and then finally you, have, you get the the items of uh, the all item the all items of uh, questionnaire and uh, this is also another things like reading self efficacy what is meant by reading self efficacy you read some books on self efficacy and then uh, what is it um, you can you can find definition from others and finally you can create your own definitions by uh, synthesizing different different uh, perspectives from from others and then finally you get the indicators uh, for example there are two indicators of self reading self advocacy learners perception of their reading ability and a learner's judgment of their ability and then you you make a question there so um, by having such uh, indicators, uh, I think you can you can uh, answer the question of why why do you have twenty items? Why do you have forty items? Why do you have one hundred items of your questionnaire? Because you can see uh, from the definition from the indicators. For example, if your indicators uh, are two, then you have uh, questionnaire. Uh, your questionnaire will be uh, hundreds items then you can say because there are two indicators and each of indicate each indicators i take from each indicators i take i take uh, uh, 50 items for example then you finally can see that uh, your your item contains a uh, hundred items but if you take only 
45 25 25 then you you get you will get uh, 40 items in your questionnaire so all the things are um, the way to 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 take the questionnaire i mean to take the items from the variables in a questionnaire now um, let's develop the questionnaire now uh, i guide you to develop the questionnaire if you make them by yourself it means that uh, if you choose the, uh, the 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 last the last manner or the last ways the last way of uh, making questionnaire that's making it by yourself so um, suppose we have a questionnaire of teaching skills and a questionnaire of belief on uh, learning beyond the class for example so you 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 so you, you are supposed to imagine two questionnaires, yeah? these two questionnaires, okay? Then um, first step, you have to um, find the concept of teaching skill and beliefs, yeah? beliefs of uh, EFL learning beyond the, the classroom. Let's see, okay. Uh, we have to find the concept of teaching skill from other researchers or other books. Uh, look at this one, Cooper to 2011, Bird, Bern and Richard 29, I mean 2009, Hertz 2008, and then uh, Er 2010. These are books that uh, we have to, re to read because they are talking about uh, teaching skills, okay? Then after you find uh, the contents of the books and about the concept of teaching skill, and then uh, you, for example, find the concept, uh, the concept should, <clears throat> should be broken down into three aspects. So skill, te teaching skills according to those uh, five or those four books, yeah, those four books. Uh, should be broken down into teaching, teaching preparation, teaching actions, and teaching evaluation, for example. So each aspect was translated into items. So you take uh, teaching preparation, how many items, and from, from teaching actions, how many items, and teaching evaluation, how many items. So the statements of assessing the respondent, the respondent's teaching performance in this case, talking about the respondents teaching uh, teaching skills you have to 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 see or you have to see uh, three different aspects teaching preparation of the respondents teaching actions and teaching evaluations you get it okay um, it means that you have to to, to develop this by uh, what is it uh, saying or writing it down into your chapter 3 Meanwhile, the second questionnaire, for example, about the concept of uh, EFL learning beyond the class, and then you read Benson and Readers, uh, and then uh, Ellis, Victory, and Noonan, for example. So there are how many? One, two, three. There are three books that you have to read, to, you have to read, for example. Then you get the concept after you read these books, and then you can define the, the, quest, uh, the, the variables. This is questionnaire two, right? And then the concept well, uh, from those books, you, you, you get the, con the concept of uh, EFL learning beyond the class. There are uh, three aspects, for example, setting, process, and atmosphere, for example. Then you take the from each aspects you take some some items uh, over there for your uh, questionnaire. Then step two, make the specifications of the questionnaire item. Okay, so you have uh, something like this. This is the so-called specific specification of questionnaire item. This will be applicable for any any either any, any any instruments. For example, if you want to take a test or you, you want to take a what is it not uh, what is it interview guide for example you, you you have to do things like this right make a kind of so uh, in person inside is called kisi 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 so hal so uh, you have to make a table like this um see this the first part this is the teaching skill this is the quest, first questionnaire um, teaching skill cons consists of aspects, three aspects, teaching preparation, teaching action, and teaching evaluation. Uh, evaluations. From this uh, 
three aspects you have indicators right the indicators of the, uh, the, the each aspect as for example uh, teaching preparation the indicators is having the lesson plan before teaching so uh, remember that the indicators should be operational what what is what does it mean operational by by operational operational mean the things that you want to measure should should be you should be able to count count the performance yeah. count the performance mean you will later on see a thing which is concrete in 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 the respondents performance yeah. for example this this one having the lesson plans you you, just, you send you can ask something like uh, how many uh, do you do you have lesson plans before teaching yes or no yeah kan? for example or do your lesson plan good or, uh, or not good and, and so on it 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 it, it will uh, give you information of abstract thing different from teaching preparation for example if you ask what is your teaching and preparation then the, the responder will be confused to ask to answer the question right but if you have uh, having lesson plans means that the, the respondent will see okay i have and i have i i do not have something like this what about teaching action uh, for example the indicator says applying good classroom management motivating uh, learners in in learning beyond the class driving l2 acquisition in you can see this one applying a good classroom management apply or not apply something like this okay motivating doing motivating or not okay and so on and evaluation using product oriented use the product I mean use or not use okay so um indicators should indicators should be operational that's why we call it as operational definitions of the concept so if you are asked uh, some some questions like what is your your concepts of teaching skills then you 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 can define the concept by taking definitions but if the question is what is your operational definitions then you say that uh, there are aspects and indicators of the teaching skills so you you just mentioned the indicators of the teaching skills the same thing happened to uh, the, the next the question the questioner two efl learning beyond language this is about belief right and then you have a setting of the l2 beyond the 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 the, the classroom for example the classroom the learning is uh, an out of class or an after school setting and mingle with the extracurricular and you 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 see uh, the things over there right? the things uh, about the setting the extracurricular curricular activities. How many extracurricular activities do you have? Something like this. This is the second step, right? And after you have the, if, if you finish this step, then you you will result in uh, these kinds of things like uh, this one. This is the what is it? The question or the statement that you take from each. Uh, questionnaire let me let me uh, give you the okay this is the belief yeah this is the second one that the what is it the uh, uh, questionnaire of the second the second questionnaire the, the expression of the second questionnaires um from that question from, from that particular uh this one yeah from that particular concepts and from that particular indicators you you have a statement there Okay, for example, setting setting of EFL learning beyond the classroom. So this is the question. My students, not a question, but in this case, it is a statement. Uh, they, they are statements of uh, the, what is it, the, uh, yeah, the statement of the questionnaire. Sometimes questionnaire can be statement or question, it's up to you. Uh, my students should get more informal English lessons after after school. And strongly agree, agree, disagree, or strongly disagree. My students should get an easy access of English informal lesson, English course, private course. I agree, and so on. 
saya duga dia lack of media access to English practice disagree and and so on. So I think uh, this this is the what is it the the real questioner that that you can take from the indicators and the concept uh, concept conceptual definition. This is the, the teaching skill, for example, preparation, as I told you earlier. Before teaching, the teacher design a lesson plan. Disagree, uh, strongly agree, disagree, uh, agree, disagree, and so on. So you just uh, make a, what is it, a number here. And then teaching action, for example, uh, applying good uh, classroom. And then you say, when the teacher teaches, she or he usually arrange the class chair as U-shape arrangement or in-group arrangements and yes or no or disagree and so on. So you you you, you take all the items from the uh, what is it uh, the uh, indicators. Okay, is it clear? So until now, until this the end. I mean, until this uh, this point, you have to know that. Uh, Creating questionnaire is not uh, directly write the items or the statements or, or, or questions of the questionnaire, but you have to follow the trajectory of uh, making the questionnaire. First of all, you have to uh, create a kinds of uh, what is it uh, construct and then um, divide the construct into aspects and then find out the indicators and finally you create statements or, or question for your questionnaire. And then you 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 put some uh, what is options of the answer. So uh, option is not always uh, disagree or uh, what is it? This is this is uh, uh, the options of uh, uh, Likert scale. Yeah, if you use Likert scale, then strongly agree, uh, agree, disagree, strongly disagree. That's a like uh, Likert scale. Yeah, but you can you can have uh, things like this. For example. Um, you have a uh, numbering of 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 the 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 questions uh, the answer options for example uh, number one number two a b c or whatever you want to to put or you can also uh, make a question then uh, ask the, the respondents to write down the essay answer answer in the form of essay narrative narrative essay or narrative something like uh, making making a writing paragraph something like this or you can also use a yes no and yes no questions that's that's okay but it is very what is it is very very difficult to to analyze a yes no question because if you have one for yes uh, zero for no then how many yes how many no what what does it mean yes or no it is sometimes it's very difficult but you can do it or you can use uh, what is it? The kinds of uh, you you can put some some uh, options of answers by uh, putting the answers and then asking your respondents to to take or to put some orders like this, for example. Which one is which when which which activities do you like to to do in your spare time? For example, if you say what TV is the most, then you you take one for number one number two for example visit friends and surfing internet or net is surfing internet number one for example so you can you can ask the what is it uh, the respondents to put the number indicating number one is uh, the most okay and so on something like that and then uh, yeah this this kinds of uh, question i mean uh, this kind of this kind of uh, uh, answer answer options in uh, will bring you into types of quiz questionnaire the question the type of question you have in your, your questionnaire so whether your questionnaire is closed questionnaire or uh, other types of questionnaire for example unstructured questionnaire it it can be indicated by by the options of uh, answers of, of respondents answer do you want if if your your respondents, uh, I mean the 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 options of 
uh, answers you give is uh, as in, then your questionnaire can be set, can be labeled as unstructured questionnaire and so on. But you still have the same, or you you have the same uh, question in this case. The question uh, are the same. The statement the statements are the same. Okay. Okay, so I repeat once again that uh, uh, this is uh, finding the concept or developing the questioner by uh, I mean by yourself. It means that uh, it is usually for S1. It is very rare to use this one. This is uh, for maybe S2 or S3. Yeah? For S1, usually you 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 take the, the first or the second one. That is the, uh, what is it? The adapting or adopting. But if you uh, want to, at least you know the concept of making the questionnaire. Um, later on, with, when you are talking about, uh, what is it, the uh, interview guides, for example, yeah, it is a must to, to use these kinds of things, you know, inter interview guide either. I think uh, you can, uh, what is it, you can, you can uh, I think by having such information, you know that questionnaire or other forms of instrument, uh, do not appear alone. I mean, without any process. So they 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 appear with uh, a process before. A process is called development of the instrument. So making making uh, a kinds of uh, specification like uh, what I said before. And which one is uh, uh, things is which is very important for you to 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 keep in mind is that. In a quantitative research, this is for quantitative research. Yeah, in a quantitative research, the uh, questionnaire or the definition of concept or construct in the questionnaire should should uh, go to two definitions: the conceptual definitions and operational definitions. That's the point.